In this video, I'm going to be doing motion capture and you read it right. I'm going to be using cameras from wish.com, the worst place you can buy a camera. Hi, I'm Woody and I make content in and about Unreal Engine using virtual avatars. You may have heard of this new platform called Move AI. It's a markerless AI system that creates motion capture based on consumer grade video from things like iPhones. Move is the sponsor of this video, which I'm really excited about. Recently, they came to me and they said, hey, Woody, uh, we got this new thing. We got this new feature specifically that will allow people to take any camera and use it with our system to be able to create motion capture just based on a multi-camera arrangement. And I said, hey, I know. What if we used the worst cameras, like the worst possible cameras? And bizarrely, they were like, yeah, cool. We love that. So here we are. Let's hope they were right because we're going to wish.com. Let's start here. This is cute. This is like a GoPro sized, I guess. Has nighttime vision. Don't think we'll be needing that. We got some sort of SLR inspired shindig going on here. This one's really bad, you guys. Support SD card. Amazing. This looks different in different photos. How about some security cameras? Wait a second. It can't fit in your fingers and take a micro SD. That's how big a micro SD is. <laughs> this one comes with accessories. 1080p, fun for the whole family. All right, here's my final cart. I have three photo style cameras, six security cameras, and four camcorders. I made my choices specifically around which ones had express shipping because I didn't want making this video to take months. I do a good number of projects in Unreal Engine and I've been putting off doing mocap for a couple of them for a while. I need some game animations that I can use in some of the stylized characters that I use in my stream enabled TTRPG game. The guys that move stress to me that this is an experimental feature. In fact, it's literally called experimental mode, but not all motion capture has to be perfect. The characters that I'm using in my game are extremely stylized. They don't have a lot of parameters and there's not a lot to them. While it's simple to animate characters like this yourself, it's super easy. There's still a bunch of creativity that comes from doing mocap acting. And in all honesty, I will always take the opportunity to skip animating. I don't know why. I'd... So this is where things get weird. Suddenly I get three emails for each of the cameras that I ordered from Wish and it's Wish telling me that they've been refunded. I check my bank account, sure enough, everything's been refunded, and I have to go email the sponsor. I'm like, hey guys, the cameras aren't coming. Sorry about that, we have to go back to the drawing board. And then one day while I'm out, Rosie, my partner, sends me a text with a picture, and it's the Wish cameras. The Wish cameras came anyways, all of them. So not only do you get what you pay for, I didn't pay anything. <laughs> So here's our little security camera. I have no way of knowing what the field of view is on these guys. We have these red cameras. You can see they say HD on them. And honestly, this doesn't look that different than like a little Sony Handycam. Yeah, I mean, it's got the movable screen. We get a re replaceable battery, which is interesting. You don't always get that. One thing you'll notice, which is kind of crazy, is that these come in the same box. They're in the same thing. Like they're like a repurposable box. This is ridiculous. This is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. It doesn't even feel like the button works on this one. Yeah, the button is absolutely like smashed in on this. And all of these shots are super tight. We're gonna wanna be able to see my whole body. This little guy. We got a little wide angle adapter. To do a move AI shoot, you need to set up the cameras in a circle and create a visual space. Next, you can clap three times over your head to do a calibration and move in a Y pose to all the different cameras. Make sure that you're not cropping yourself in the process. Clap three times again and hold the T pose while you're recording. You can now start acting. If you use an iPhone configuration, you can use Move's app. The app will upload for you right inside all the phones and then send the footage directly to Move. For me to upload, I needed to sync up the recordings in DaVinci Resolve. All right, at first glance here, you can see we have a few issues. The move works best in 16 by nine. A lot of the Wish cameras that I bought have a squished down four by three sensor. I have been squashed down and I look like a womp. But in general, I'm liking this camera. The Rehouse security sensors really bring out my NPC in Tokyo living inside a PS1 game aesthetic. One of my cameras ended up dying while I was there, so we needed a substitute, so I threw in my iPhone. I shot all kinds of mocap. I did some jumping, some dancing, but also a lot of RPG motion. I lined up all the files, synced them so that all the claps matched, and I uploaded them to move.
Wow, that actually works. Look, you can see immediately. It's not perfect, but we do have motion capture that somewhat matches what I did. And what's more, I think I know why the footage looks so odd. It turns out I made a couple of mistakes in the recording that would mess up just as much with an iPhone. For Move to work well, you want to make sure that you're in the cameras at all times, and you can see I'm kind of getting clipped at this angle here. I'm also wearing black, which Move doesn't love, and my wrists are covered. These are all no-nos, just some basic rules that help the AI algorithm be able to figure out where your body is. This is a good sign, but I still had two more cameras to test. And they both flopped. I tried the photo style camera and it seemed to go really well at first. The view was much wider, but I did add a couple of the camcorders back into the mix and still ended up clipping myself during calibration. And the security cameras, these are the worst. They have an app which surprisingly works, but it's sketchy. You can only record about a minute of video when triggered by motion. Oh, they can't hold a charge which a friend and I found out the hard way when we tried to do another shoot. Also, the mobile app put this really weird glitch on her iPhone. Don't let the $6 price tag fool you. These are awful. I mean, you can tell because of the $6 price tag, but still don't let it fool you, whatever that means. I wanted to try just one more time to see if I could make the worst cameras somewhat more optimized. So I went back to my roof. This one was for all the marbles. All right, so here's the play this time. I set the C-stand at my height, and I'm gonna adjust the arm so that it looks like me doing the Y pose so I can frame everything up. I got these little ball heads that'll help me set up everything here. Oh my gosh, it's very bright out. Um, I decided to use a combination of my phone and the three photo cameras since they were the widest. You might say that the iPhone is cheating, but considering that most people have at least one smartphone lying in a drawer somewhere, I'd highly recommend using something like that in your mocap array as it'll improve the quality a little bit over something as cheap as a $20 camera. And at last, between the last shoe and some of the better results I got from the others, I was able to get a proper set of RPG animations. Perfect for little guys who don't need a lot of realism. I built a retargeting rig in Unreal and downloaded my move takes. After transferring the assets to my little guys, I was able to clean them up by baking my animation to a control rig and knocking out some of the keyframes and then creating an additive rig when some of the angles were wrong. And suddenly, my little dudes can fight! Thanks Wish.com! Or rather, thanks Move AI, because it's pretty freaking cool that I could throw utter garbage at this platform and it was actually able to make something out of it. Move is legitimately a really good platform. And if you already happen to have some iPhones lying around, I think it's a no-brainer. So definitely check out Move at move.ai. Their system is incredibly dynamic, and if this is what the system can do with really, really crappy cameras, let's just say I'm looking forward to spending more time with the system doing things the right way. That's our shoot. <laughs> That's it.